<laughs> Weighing 135 pounds with a record of two wins and one loss. Fighting out of Queen City Grappling Club from Dayton, Ohio. It's Zachary Westland. And across the cage, weighing 135 pounds with an undefeated record of two wins and zero losses. Fighting out of Area 502 MMA from Albany, Kentucky. It is Dylan Alleycat Vincent. All right, fellas. When George Conley gets his fight going, Zach Westland will be coming out in the black Nike spandex shorts out of the blue corner. And Dylan Vincent will be coming out in black and yellow waist tie shorts out of the red corner. Here we go. Oh, flying knee. Flying knee. That's the second flying knee we've seen tonight. Maybe because Masvidal's fighting tonight. He was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna honor Masvidal in that. That one. must be it. There you go. Nice hard shot to the rib cage there on the right side by Zach Westland. Good head positioning by Zach. Yeah, it really is good. It's the most irritating thing in the world is when they're just rubbing their forehead all over you. Oh, yeah. Just like that. That's terrible. <laughs> kind of just pins your neck up, man. You really can't do much. Good knee. A lot of guys will cut their hair extra short uh, just so they get that little prickly feel out as they do. Yeah, I mean, it just rubs you raw on your chin. Hey, it hurts. I would like to see Dylan get that underhook on the right side. He's been holding the overhook. He's got the under on the left. He needs to pummel in and get it on the right and try to turn Zach in back into the cage. You know, there he goes. Zach is being stubborn. Beautiful job by Zach, turning him back in. I like the knees right there up the middle. There you go. You know, Zach looks very heavy to turn. You know some of those fighters that are just really heavy to turn? They just got a good base. A good base. Strong hips, yes. strong legs. And, and you can really <laughs> see that with those knees that he's throwing. He's very comfortable there. You can tell they've been practicing that a lot. And he loves that overhook on that right side. I would much rather, oh, nice knee up the middle by Zach Westland. Yeah, this Another is one. good. Knees. Dirty kickboxing. Yeah. He's got. Oh, beautiful job by Dylan Vincent. Oh, snag that head. He was looking for this. He yeah, he was. He's got it. Zach's going to try to get out of it. Hands. Looking for the He's fighting choke. the hands. Yeah. He's got that one. Oh, oh, that was fantastic. That was beautiful. Gnarly. That's that. Now, now, you gotta, now he's going, Zach's going for the Von Flew. Yes. He's yeah, got he the is. hand trapped. He's got the, he's locking. Oh, oh, he's got out. You guys got excited there for a minute. We talked about his pedigree in wrestling, yes. and he showed it right there. That was a beautiful job. That was without hesitation. Oh, oh, you got Dylan for now. Look at Dylan. Dylan. They say he's the tricky on the ground. Look at wow. this. this is, what's this called? The bread basket, I think? Bread basket. The bread basket. The hybrid triangle. It's, it's, if he squeezes, he's, he might be able to finish this. Yeah, he's got to watch the knee to the spine. There was three knees right there, right to the spine. He's, he's, his, oh, he's, he's loosening up. Good but, job by Zach not to tap right there. That, that was as good of an idea as I had to get out of it. Hit, hit him, I guess. I, oh, big hammer fist. Watch the back of the... He's hitting the ear. I mean, he yeah, was hit, yeah. you know. No, it, they were all clean. It was just... But that's a couple of strikes I've already seen tonight to the spinal cord. I mean... Man, that was back and forth right there. That was some great transitioning on the ground. Wasn't it? Both of these guys are from great jujitsu gyms. I mean, really, Queen City, and then you got Area 502. 502. Yeah. I mean, you know. Solid, solid performances. Yeah. Ruben just, Vera, just the and reaction, the, the chain reactions that you see. This, that's what I love to see right. with these amateurs. Yeah, I want to see that suplex again. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. That was, We've that had, was beautiful. There was, you just throw it. I mean, it was just there, and he felt it. We've had two. Uh, gnarly drops tonight. Yeah, we Two have. Or three. We have. Two. I've only seen a suplex like that. Rel Hodge threw that on uh, Ben Pierre Saint in in Dayton, Ohio that last year. Ago. That was wild. Yeah, it was but wild. yeah, that that was that was very impressive. I love the way Philip Perkins corners, man. He's so calm in there, and he he really does get in his fighter's head and, and, and to detail, like calm detail, on what he needs to do. 
And, and, and Sam, if, if you're if you're Zach Westland's corner right now, what are you telling him? What does he need to do to come out in the second round? Uh, come on, like I would like to see everyone do, stick the jab a little bit more before you do anything else. Yeah. Get that jab out there, then control a little the bit. The jab is so effective. It is. It's the most effective strike it that is. you can possibly use. So underrated. I definitely know about that double jab. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. Let's see. Dylan's wanting to come out. Oh, nice jab. There, nice there's jab. the jab. Oh, another. In return. Oh, oh, right to the face. He jabbed Side him with kick. his foot. Switch down. Dylan needs to get that jab out, too. Stop throwing that hook. There's. Oh, nice leg kick. Good counter. Oh, wow. big counter. Yeah, they're throwing some. No. Oh, oh, that oh, hurt Dylan right there. Oh, Zach's coming. Went oh, big shot. Right in big the shot. Face. Big left, shot. right. Left, right. He's moving. That was three or four shots that were just clean. Dylan oh, yeah. ate him too. Zach looked right in Dylan's face. Almost. Yeah, he did. Wow, Zach is tough. I'm oh, sorry, Dylan. Just going back and forth. Big shot, big yes. leg kick right there. Nice, another one. Dylan, yeah. he's got a throw, man. He's just getting pieced up here. D Dylan I don't know if he's got down. an answer. He, he, yeah. His brain is still on clear street. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Man, that one two is, is popping. Oh, good duck under right there. Uppercut with the right hand. Good decision by Dylan. Yeah. To, to come up with that clinch, just slow it down a little bit. Zachary was on fire. Yeah, Zach was landing at will. And they were hard shots right hard. up the middle. Oh, Dylan's going to jump guard. No, it's hard to jump guard when you don't have a submission well, in play. Well, I know. And up against the cage, that will be terrible. Yeah. It's an instinct, though. People that train jiu-jitsu. Oh, that, man. Ooh, good punch back. Good punch back, but I like how Zach went to the body of Dylan. He's, oh, man, big right hands. Tit for tat. Oh, big right hand. Split the guard of Dylan Vincent. Man, that, man, that, that hook just keeps missing Zach by just a oh, yeah. millisecond. If he can connect with that hook, it could be night-night for Zach Wesleyan. Zach is now rocked a little bit, I think. That big rear hook of Dylan's. Oh, 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 oh man. It's just back and forth. Rock em, suck em, robots. This crowd's going crazy. And this is good for both of them, this clinch. Oh, uh, pull man. Right down in the map. Now, Mount is a bad place to be that close, close to the cage if you, know how, if you know what to do, if you know what you're doing. It is. I think Dylan's exhausted, man. Yeah. He, he's, just, he's breathing heavy. He, his brain is still trying to catch up with the right. damage. Zach's relentless in his pressure. Now he's in side control. Working Dylan. Looks like he's going to step over to Mount. When it was like Alvy was saying before, punch him until he doesn't want to be punched anymore. Punch him a little more and then submit him. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's exactly what he's doing. The nice couple of elbows to the body as well. Oh, man, what man. a round. Holy round of the night moly. so far. Yeah, I mean, look, Absolutely. Dylan has some big shots too. Oh, he did. I, Absolutely. He got pieced up in that second round, but he has some big shots. And if that left hook would land clean, man, it could. Woo. Well, he landed it twice. Yes. A little close, not at, you know, not at the perfect right range, but it did hurt. Well, tell you, Zach, I, I like his kickboxing, too. I, I like his kicks. I love it. Do you know what I love? I love uh, his five-punch combinations, his striking. It's it's very solid. It's like Alvy said, it was really crisp down yep. the middle. He's got a really good base to it. Switch stances every now and then. Dylan's tough, man. I'm going to tell you, I don't think he's rocked. I think he's just – his cardio is, is – I think he was right. No, he was. I think yeah. he, he looks okay I like his eyes. Okay. Yeah. He might have a little trouble breathing out of his nose, Broke too. Broken nose, yes. huh? But to be fair, Zach was right there in that last minute he as was, well. He was, yeah. That, that rear hook <laughs> off the cage of Dylan yeah. through landing. Yeah, it did. Albie likes strikes, so he likes this. I mean, who doesn't? That's what Albie's known for is chalking people up with that big. <laughs> he got them big yeah. old sandwich hands. You <laughs> make more money boxes. if you knock people out. It's so true, isn't it? Submissions are great, but people want to see them. They want to see those knockouts. Man, I can't remember the knockout. I can't remember who it was, but it was off the cage. Y'all were y'all were clinched up, and you you separated left hook. Oh, and it, wow. it was um, it, it was like, 
I'm a smiling Sam Alvey fan after that. that. This was years ago. Here we go, Ke starting the third Casey, round. I yeah, Kevin he... Casey, it was. Oh, big oh, right hand! Yeah. There's that. that wow! Again. That rocks half. Zach Westmoreland. Now Dylan's got to pull away. He found. Uh, he's got to get away. It was a. It was a beautiful shot, but for him to clinch right after, he he did that out of instinct. Yeah, he did. He's not had the success on his back like he's wanted to have. But that overhand, that rear overhand, has been landing. He can separate, start throwing that again. I think he could land it. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I would. Yeah, I would. I would keep it standing. Because I, I, I feel Dylan has to finish this he, round. Yeah, he does. He definitely needs to finish the third to win. So I pull away, push the face. I mean, Zach is relentless. He's throwing. Oh, big takedown. Oh, he's in mount. Full mount. Let's see if he's. Let's see what his top jujitsu game is. Right here in front of us. He's mounted. See if he postures up. He's got that high guard. Yeah, he does. He could go for the mounted triangle right here, but you would be given. Be right. giving a position oh. for submission. Is the bad oh, oh, that's huge. Back. He's got Zach Moreland. Is that Zach Westland trapped? Now he's back to mount. No, you want Zach. If you're rooting for Zach. You want Zach to get his feet on the cage, start looking to do a backward somersault. Right, there you go. He's got to get out of this position. But I feel like Dylan's this is urgency. He's got to try to finish this fight. Yeah, he needs to stay, yeah, he needs to posture up and start throwing down shots. At the back. He's at the back door maybe. He, he's creating a little bit of space. You know, if Zach is up two rounds, he's doing Oh man. Zach is up two rounds. He, he is lost this round, but he's not getting finished. No, we'll see if the judges call it a 10-8 or not. Yeah, Dylan's got to, he's got to posture up and try to finish. He's not going to get a submission. And this time, oh, he's going for the arm triangle. Near the cage is hard. It's hard. Get it, but it's hard. And I thought I heard the 10-second clap. No, I did too. he's got some time to do some work. The cage is going to be in his way, but he could put knee on belly here and go high up on the chest and finish this. Oh, that knee on belly is uh, sick. It's so mean. It's a hard choke to finish from my It is. It's deep in. But he can't. He could, he could switch over. Oh, he's letting up. He's got to get up and hit him. He's got to try to finish. He's looking to finish. That. Jack Westland is trembling to get out. He's still in the mount. Feet are in the cage. Oh, but he put his butt to the cage. Yeah. He needs to say he's parallel to Dylan's got to be in desperation to finish this fight. Ten close, ten seconds. His corner's yelling. Yeah, finish, finish. Zach's holding on for dear life. Oh, he's going to get the, tr oh, beautiful nice transition. Sweep. sweep at the end. Yes, beautiful job. I Great fight. That, that fight could be a draw. If you give that last round 10-8 to Dylan, uh, I would say Zach had the first two. Uh, that last little sweep, though, is that enough to, ooh, and I hate 10-8 rounds. But uh, man, I, was, I do. Yeah, you're right. Well, the new ruling system now, 10-8 rounds, if you're getting dominated, it used to be back in the day, if you got dropped or almost finished, it was 10-8, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's if you get dominated throughout the whole round, yeah. you can, it could be a 10-8 round. So you could even say for Wes, uh, for Zach, the second round could have been a 10-8 round. Maybe, but I hate 10-8 rounds. I, I, me too. I, 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 yeah. I, I think they're ruining the sports scoring system. <laughs> but it could be a draw. You're right, Sam. I, I mean, it, it's. Yeah, that, that last round could have been. It was two minutes and 45 seconds of Zach sur barely surviving. Man, this is exactly why I was looking forward to this fight. I knew this fight was going to turn out this way. No kidding. You were right. Man. Such a good fight. These guys, I mean, they're going to have, they got bright futures in this sport. Uh, man, they love that. Good fight, guys. Good fight. And just for the audience at home real quick, while we wait on the de decision here, Mr. Bell and all of B2 Fighting Series wants to thank Ladies all the fans. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a score across the board, 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision. Out of the blue corner, Zachary Westland. I agree with that. I, I do too. I'm, I'm glad it went that way because I hate 10 eights. But I have to start scoring or thinking like a judge. Well, I'll tell you what, man.